On the 1st of November 1894, Nicholas II became the Tsar of Russia following the death of his father, Tsar Alexander III. Welcome to History Pod. Nicholas was born on the 18th of May 1868 as the eldest son of Alexander III and Empress Maria Fyodorovna. However, his father's sudden death from kidney disease at the age of 49 left Nicholas little time to prepare to take on the responsibilities of ruling such a vast and complex empire. The 26-year-old Tsar inherited an autocratic government, which had long resisted democratic reforms, and a society that was increasingly dissatisfied with the existing order. The country was undergoing rapid industrialisation and there was growing discontent among workers, peasants and intellectuals over the autocratic rule of the Romanov dynasty. Nevertheless, at his coronation, Nicholas declared, I shall maintain the principle of autocracy as firmly and unflinchingly as did my late lamented father. Consequently, he resisted pressures for reform and sought to preserve the traditional power structures of the Russian Empire. Social unrest continued to build in the early years of Nicholas's reign, with strikes and protests becoming common. Additionally, Russia's foreign policy ambitions led to conflicts, most notably the Russo-Japanese War of 1904-5, which ended in a humiliating defeat for Russia and further undermined the Tsar's authority. Despite efforts to modernise the country, Nicholas II's reign was defined by his inability to address the social and political problems facing Russia. His reliance on conservative advisers and his reluctance to implement meaningful reforms contributed to tensions that eventually culminated in the Russian Revolution of 1917, leading to Nicholas's abdication and the end of the Romanov dynasty. <laughs> 